Hey guys, uh, Dan here. Just wanted to uh, briefly discuss one of the many ways one can get up a tree uh, to hunt deer mobily. Uh, in particular, the folks at New York Saddle Hunter introduced a new method of doing uh, DRT, which is using arborist equipment to uh, climb. This setup in particular has one key advantage over uh, other methods I've used in that instead of a grigri and a lot of metal on metal contact, uh, you're going to use a split tail and you're going to tie a Blake's hitch in order to connect to the line. Uh, it's a very elegant solution. It's not complicated. And Scott and uh, Joe over at New York Saddle Hunter did a great job demoing. Here's how to do it. I wanted to just show uh, the assembled components of that kit and talk a little bit about what I had to add to my SRT setup in order to do this. So without any further ado, here we go. Okay, so what you're looking at here is the DRT part of my kit that is strapped to the left side of my pack. Essentially, you've got a very lightweight uh, SRT, DRT rope, which is in green. You've got my split tail, which is uh, the gray uh, line that runs through the carabiner there. And then the carabiner itself, which is how I hook myself up to my uh, saddle. Uh, but it, it's a very elegant solution in that um, all those pieces are pre-assembled and pre-tied. So I'm not tying a Blake's hitch out in the field or doing any real monkeying around. Uh, all I do is uncoil uh, the gear and then take the preset paracord loop that's already waiting at the tray and I'm going to run the uh, main line, the end of the rope with the tie dye right over the uh, crotch of the tray or the limb that I've secured it to. So it's um, very simple, it's ready to go, it's super lightweight and all I need to do is attach the main line to the preset paracord and uh, run that over the tree to get uh, ready to climb. Simple. Next thing we're going to do is look at the component tree that you'll need in order to um, have the full kit. Okay, so here are the component parts. You've got 75 feet of Sterling Super Static 2. It's a uh, 9.5 millimeter uh, climbing rope. Here's the split tail. Uh, notice that it's got a uh, tight eye on one end, and at the yellow end, that's the end that I'm going to tie the Blake hitch with. Here's a uh, CT quick roll hand ascender. Uh, you can use that particular ascender or whatever you're currently using. Uh, the one that I have is slightly different, but they all kind of work the same. Here is the soft shackle. Now that's going to be used to connect the hand ascender to my uh, foot loop. And it's really tiny. Look at the quarter in the picture. However, it's made out of amp steel, so it's super strong. And here's an example of a uh, foot loop. Uh, you can either pick this one up at their site or use whatever you have. Mine is slightly different, but they all kind of work the same. And then once again, this is the final product uh, all rolled up. Uh, missing, though, would be this section of uh, the foot loop and the uh, hand ascender. Uh, those are stored separately, whereas this rope uh, will live inside the pack or on the side of the pack, which is what I showed in the beginning of the video. Here's a close-up look at my hand ascender, which is yellow and black. And then the um, soft shackle is connected to that. And then finally, my Petzl foot loop is hooked up to the whole shebang. I typically just roll that up and put it in a side pouch, which is what I meant by it's in a separate uh, storage area. <laughs> These are the little details that are hard to see in the video that uh, was made by the New York Saddle Hunters to demo how to do uh, the DRT with the split tail. So my purpose here was to say, hey, I bought this kit. I picked up these additional components to make it all work. And um, look how it stores on my bag. And it's silent and it's easy and it's a big upgrade from other methods of DRT and SRT that I've seen out there. Okay, so this is a close-up I've run the um, primary line through the hand ascender. I've got the soft shackle hooked up to that ascender, and then ultimately the uh, Petzl foot loop at the bottom. If you look just above the ascender, you'll see the Blake's hitch that's tied. 
And essentially, you're going to keep advancing the Blake's hitch as you go. And they did a great job showing that in the video. Here's a close-up of what it looks like all put together. And uh, I feel pretty comfortable with what I've got. Here's the setup attached to my uh, pack. You can see that all the har hardware and the uh, split tail and whatnot uh, can be wrapped right around your primary rope. You can put it inside or outside the pack. I put it on the outside just to show you. Could also hook it on the bottom if I wanted or run it up the middle. Real lightweight. This is a super big upgrade from the heavier rope. It's so much lighter. And once again, this will be real quiet because there aren't a lot of metal parts. In particularly, uh, no metal on metal. My Blake's hitch is pre-tied and right there, ready to go. And um, when I get to the tree, it shouldn't be hard to uh, get this thing working. I'm real excited to give it a go. Uh, tying the Blake's hitch is not that hard. So anyway, I recommend the... Uh, New DRT kit from New York Saddle Hunter. It'll uh, quiet down your climb into the tree substantially. Thanks a lot for watching. If you've got comments or questions, uh, put them in the comments section. I do read them and will respond. Uh, please like and subscribe.